Hello and welcome to part 13 of my Win UAE guide. Today we're going to be looking at the CD32, which was the last Amiga that was produced. It was a games console. So let's open up Win UAE and we need to make sure that we've got all of our uh, Kickstart ROMs uh, available. So uh, for CD32, it used a slightly different ROM. So if I go to Win UAE, um, in the if you've downloaded the um, Amiga Forever uh, pack in your Kickstarts, uh, there should be one that's called uh, Amiga OS 3.1 CD32, and there's a CD32 extension ROM as well. So they're important that you have those two ROMs. So if we go to Quick Start. Um, Make sure that we're on CD32 and the configuration is a CD32 as well. Uh, set configuration and then what we're going to do is uh, we need a CD32 game. Well, a good place to start is the Dream17 website, which is a fan uh, website of the Team17 and uh, they've been able to put some of the CD32 ISOs um, onto their website. So I've downloaded Worms and when you download that um, I will show you it is a zip file and you extract that zip file into a folder. So in my WinUAE I've made a folder called CD32. I've extracted the Worms zip file um, into a folder and this is the contents of it. So as you see, we've got a Q file. That's the most important file. And then MP3s, these are all the audio tracks from the CD. And track one was the data track with the actual game data in it. So uh, when we emulate in WinUAE, we'll be able to have like the audio CD from these MP3s. Everything will work as, as though we were using a, a CD32. And the crucial part is this Q file because this Q file contains a list of all the MP3 tracks and everything uh, so that it knows where everything is. This Q file must always live in the same folder as all these MP3s in the ISO. Um, don't move them at all or things will start to break. Thankfully as well, um, Team 17 have provided the codes uh, PDF as well because this game is data protected, uh, got data protection as well. So uh, we'll be using that later to play the game. So let's go back to WinUAE. So we've gone to the quick start CD32 and we've set the configuration for that. So how do we add that CD? So we go to CDs and hard drives. And then at the bottom, we go to select image file. So if I click on that, I'm in my CD32 folder, the worms folder that I've just shown you, and I select the worms uh, Q file. So click open. And then all there is really is to play the game. But one important thing as well is the controller. Now if I load up a picture of the controller, this is the Amiga CD32 controller. It wasn't the greatest controller in the world, um, but as you can see, uh, there's more than one fire button. So um, as you can see, I've got a Xbox 360 controller plugged in to my computer. Uh, the colours are round the wrong way, but you could sort of put labels on them or just have have this printed out just to remind you of what the colors everything represents so to make sure that we've got our cd32 controller set up we go to game ports uh, we go to our xbox 360 controller and where it says default we set it to cd32 pad there we go and then we're all ready to play the game so if I choose start, CD will be loaded up. There's the load-in screen for the Amiga CD32. And hopefully 
I've dimmed down the audio a bit because I don't want to get a content strike because there's audio CD playing. As you can see, there's full motion video um, being played. I can press red to skip. Oh, these were really funny, these were. I'll skip it to carry on. And then we've got the protection bit that we need to do. So I'm just going to there we go I've just typed in the code and we can then go through to the menus but in a minute you'll hear uh, the audio CD starting to play so there we go we've got the audio playing in the background I'm trying to talk over it so that I won't get a content strike on it if, if it is copyrighted but yeah this is the game and um, yeah there's loads of CD32 games that were produced not as many as the original CD but yeah I recommend trying some of them out they're really good games but that is how to set up uh, CD32 using WinUAE I hope you have fun playing these games and I will see you in another video. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and subscribe if you wish to see more. And thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.